Welcome back to Spontaneous, my good people. Here we are back in the world as where it should be. Uh, we are back coming in time. Max, what are you looking at? And what's with this weird music in the background? Is this her, like, coming back to reality and standing here? Oh, thank God, Chloe. Chloe, you're back. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, now you suddenly want to kiss me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Are we going to tell her what we did? Or do we keep that to ourselves? I don't think we should tell her. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? Gone over what? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Um, yeah, we might have been. But that's okay, we're back. Back in the real world, Max. Things are going to go only uphill from here after they go probably fairly downhill. Because who knows what's coming next our way. But my god. Does it f it feels so much better to be here right now. But what is this board? What is it? Is this their board of... Oh, this they're like detectives now. Putting all their stuff together. Nice. So what have we figured out so far, Max? Fill us in on all the deets. Please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that bell icon. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. You're you're not fill, you're not filling us in. So close yet so far away. Yeah, I have no idea how close or yes, how far away things? we are. Right. What are they? Um, what things? <laughs> you gotta fill us both in. Decipher Frank's logbook. Yes. To get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. Ooh. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his message. Yes, that's also a good one. Step douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the dark room. Yes, what is the dark room? Have a gun anymore. Yes, that's the solution. <sighs> I mean, we could have, we found out we could have had it back, but we didn't get it, so whoops. Fine, whatever. Where's my bad? Which I can't waste on shit like that. Blackwell would be in big trouble. Yeah. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm when glad. We have to be better. We do. If we're just as bad as they are, you then what's the difference? To see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. Ooh, be interesting. Step crack. He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and mom is giving him the boot. <laughs> yeah. Partner. So we've got to figure out a way to get in there. With the, oh. I can't abuse this level of oh, there's a wallet. This butterfly photo. Oh, that's right. We already looked at the butterfly photo. Years ago. Cool. Yeah, somehow we're going to get in there. We're going to get all the information we need without step douche figuring out what's going on, which maybe is going to be easy. Maybe it's not. Who even knows if he's still here? Oh, there he is. Hey, David. How's it going? You won this battle, Max. You broke up my No, it, it wasn't a battle. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you. Not ever. once. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Nobody. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. The dark? What do you know about the dark room? Tell us everything, you bastard! We'll let him go this time. But he's been warned. Oh my god, my eyes so... So freaking itchy. Oh. oh, we got a message from Warren. I always hit the wrong button. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Chloe, what are you doing? So Chloe texted Max to let him know that we shot Chloe down. So now Max is messaging us about that. And <laughs> it's just, oh my God, these two are adorable. God, they don't stop talking though. Oh, we got so many messages. First mom. So apparently the weather is crazy all over the place and it's well known around the world. Kate, Kate, what have you got for us? And hey, Max, how are you? I hope you can still visit me this week. I have important things to talk about. <gasps> Ooh. What is it? And oh, she misses us and her bunny. I didn't know she had a bunny. We were in a room once. I remember seeing a bunny in there. So then we also messaged Juliet. We asked her what's going on uh, to send us a message. And if she knows Frank and the RV guy, I mean, a van down by the river. I heard he's a sketchy meth head. That's about it. He doesn't actually live in the parking lot. That's just his vehicle that he uses to move around, which makes sense. It's an RV. You drive around in it. So he doesn't actually live there. He lives somewhere else, but he comes and he eats at the diner. And it just happened to be that every time we were at the diner, so was Frank. The chances of that. It's hello, dad, blah, blah, blah. And what does Chloe want? Here we go. I'm assuming all the guns are gone out of the safe now. Looks like David finished his car repairs. 
Maybe there's some new clues around. Ooh, there might be. Because originally the car was blocking those over there, those lockers. Oh, and there's an email. What is this? I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. If there is one. Oh my god. Oh my god. We, David lost his job. Right, right in here, David. Right in here, right in here. It's he was upset about losing his position at Blackwell without a complete investigation. So we had him lose his job. That's also gonna have deep consequences. Now there's no one to probably keep in check whatever David was trying to. Cameras at Pan Estates. David must be working for the Prescotts too. Oh my God! Holy crap! Well, let's check out these lockers. These have a lock on it though. Whoa! That is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Uh, let's find something to cut it off. We gotta get some pliers. Some, oh, crowbar we can... No, oh, let's not try a crowbar. Let's try... Oh, there's a paper ball. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. <gasps> David's writing a, a letter to Joyce. Basically to say that there's stuff that he wants to tell her, but he needed time and things were tough. Which is understandable because, yeah, in the letter he mentions that there was a student on his watch that almost committed suicide. And his stepdaughter hates him. And there's just so much going on. And what did his dad do for David? My guess is that whatever this thank you letter from the Prescotts is, it has to do... Can we get in? Can we get Either in? Chloe stole another gun or... David is out there armed. David would be out there armed, which is understandable because he mentioned in the letter to Joyce that there's some dark things that he he hasn't told her about that he wants to. Okay. So I can use that crowbar. To ah, man, there's the there's so much going on that we have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is we're going to open this up. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing. As <laughs> it's very possible. So what is going to be in here? Uh, nothing. Papers and some books. Oh, <gasps> maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate. Oh my god. Oh, yes. This is everything we need to finish our map that never was explained to us because Max is keeping all the information to herself. The wanker. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Oh my god. There's pictures and times and coordinates? Oh, he was there. He was filming the fight and he got the license. Oh my god. Why didn't he step in and do anything? Is it because of the Prescotts? <laughs> this game just keeps leaving us with more and more questions. Back to Chloe now. Oh my God. What is this? What did we find? Oh. Oh. Look at the baby blue jay. Aww. Let's. I, I better move his plank if I want. Yeah, let's Excuse move it. Me. Just one oh, we're going to take a picture of it, but it's going to have consequences. We're going to take our photo and then we're going to go back in time and cover it back up. Because the. Another it's no longer safe. The Arcadia Bay Wildlife Series. Ooh. Now fix it. Oh, we just got an achievement. What did we get? Hello, life is strange. View all achievements. Uh, take optional photo number two in episode four. Dark room. Ooh, very interesting. That wasn't as exciting as I thought it was. I thought it would have something to do with murdering a bird. But I mean, it's, a, it's better than murdering a bird. That would not be good. Look out. Filthy and disgusting that is. I like how the swear jar became a travel jar. Those poor whales are like beached angels. Beached what angels? Those are some, some pretty large angels. But call Chloe. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit oh, so we can just call her down the stairs. Down. That's awesome. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance. Office. Yeah, he is. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. Yes. I want to find out. She's got she's more information for us. Max is so demanding. She's nosy, demanding. She's a relationship ruiner. She's just a terrible human being. It's this unacceptable. Is Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. Okay. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. Yeah. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Although I wonder if this Chloe is... Oh, no, I guess this wouldn't be weird for Chloe. She has no idea about what happened before. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourself. Oh my god, I just had a thought of if she was going to be in the same state that, that Chloe was in. But no, no, she didn't get hurt. We saved her and she was just sick. I had no idea what That's she all it was. Going through. And you saved her. Yeah. 
Like me. No, well, no. I'm sorry. But I mean, Chloe, you also saved us. So you don't have to apologize. You got nothing to apologize for. But don't be sorry. Yeah, we're, we're all on the same, the same team. Team, team Max. Well done, Max. Okay, we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. <laughs> oh, yeah. That doesn't sound very comfortable, but he deserves it. Oh my God! Oof! It just ugh. go in the door. Oh, I probably hit a button, don't I? Nope. Never mind. I didn't. Let's do this. Oh, look at that! She's sitting up at everything. Hey! She's not dead. Thank God. Max. <sighs> it is so good to see you, Kate. I you have no I idea. See you again. I feel so ridiculous. Don't. I'm so sorry. Kate, you have nothing to apologize for. You have nothing to be sorry. For. Exactly. And a, the little birdie told me that they're going to you pay know dearly. How happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Yeah. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm glad to hear that. So grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, there was nothing. We wouldn't so have had it any other way. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying. Kate, you have no idea how much we've cared from the beginning. Thank you, Kate. There are so many people who love you and want to help you. It's true. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. Oh, no way! I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. <laughs> I'm keeping the balloons, though. <laughs> One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawing. Oh, that's awesome! <laughs> You're very good at drawing. <laughs> they got kind of dark there for a while, but... I have an idea for a new children's book. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's I really good. I'm having some photographs in there, too. I hope that's a subtle hint. That <laughs> that's for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures. We would be you. honored to. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they oh, okay. Me? Like they need to protect me forever. Well, to be They're fair. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel and Mr. Jefferson. Oh, that's good. Even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And oh, that's so good. Okay. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing <laughs> What are you drawing? Also, let's look at the drawings. Oh, I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, there's a book. Kate, what are you reading? Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. Oh, it's a, it's a book report. So she's still diligently working on her studies, which is important. Oh, and there's the get well balloons. So Kate, Kate tell us. So good to hang out with you. Kate. Tell us questions Max, and I, I mean I answers. So much, and I can tell you want to talk to me about something. I do, and we're going to next time on Spontaneous. Yo, Chloe, are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. 